Hi guys, and welcome back to another video on Planet Zoid. And in today's video, I'm actually really excited to finally be filming this video because I bought some new crafts that I wanted to try. And I think it'll be a fun asset to this channel, so. I purchased a bunch of stuff from the brand called Mundo Llama. I found it at Target. So if you haven't seen it at your local Target, let me know, I'm curious, because I had to go to a whole different city for mine to get this. I did not see it at my Target at all. And quite frankly, I've never even heard of this until I randomly walked into a random Target one day and saw it. And then I got excited and bought a bunch of stuff. Don't look at that though. We It's gonna take a minute to get through this. We're gonna start with this one first, okay? We're gonna start with this one first. So this is the Preserve Moss Art Kit. And apparently, I think Mondo Llama, I didn't look into the brand at all, I'll be honest. I did not look into the brand, but I did look into a few of the products. So they just do a bunch of like easy, simple, at-home craft products. And a lot of the crafts you can do with your kids if you want to do with your kids. And actually, some of the kits are probably for kids too. So yeah, I think this is just something fun and easy to do, try at home, and, and that's why I bought it, just to try something new. So looking at the box, it includes the frame, the foam brush, and oh, it says more included. Hold on, let's go to the back. So make it bright, make it bold, make it up, and most of all, make it you. Find your creativity and make it with Mondo Llama. So that's cute. It includes four bags of moss, a wood frame, which is 10 by 10 inches, foam brush, glue tube, and a pair of plastic gloves and an instruction sheet. So today I will be unboxing this and I will be making my own preserved moss art kit to display in my home. So let me go ahead and open this up because I could talk all day. I just like to talk, I don't know what it is. I feel like cause I'm on camera, I feel like I have to deliver and talk. So yeah. Also, I need to get my knife to open this. So I gotta go get that. What I'm probably going to do is unbox it over here and then probably have to go to my other workstation to put it together because I like to do an aerial view when I'm putting stuff together, you know what I'm saying? So I thought about putting it together over here because my white desk is so cute, but ooh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and at least open it up. Oh, uh-uh, okay, yeah. We're gonna go to my other workstation because the moss is making a mess. But here's the stuff, yeah, here it is. Okay, cool, yeah. Let's go to my other workstation and look closer into this stuff and start putting it together. So here's a closer look at all the contents. So here's the moss. I think it said it came with four bags. So here's the moss. I'm not gonna lie, this is looking kind of real. I hope it's fake. Wait a minute, it's looking kind of real. <laughs> oh, wait. Y'all. I don't know if this is real or not, but it sure feels like it. And then if you look at this piece, it looks real. And then we got the brush, the glue, and the gloves. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on here. Okay, got my gloves on. Let's look at the instructions. Always read the instructions, especially if you're working with children, because I do think this brand might be catered to more so children. And this project you could definitely do with your kids. So let's see. Oh, and this is the wooden frame. Isn't it nice? Oh my gosh, I feel so bad putting on these gloves because they're gonna make noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glance through the instructions so we can start putting it together. Oh, look at the bottle, guys. It's the same as this one. Okay, they're not the same, but they're similar. By the way, if you haven't checked out this video with the pops of color, Definitely check it out. I think it provided some good inspo and tips, especially for beginner crafters. So make sure you check out this video. I'll link it at the end. I think what I want to do first, kind of lay it out, get an idea, huh? You know, this green moss is my favorite. Like, look how vibrant it is. 
All right, I kind of laid it around, have a little bit of an idea. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glue and start applying the moss. So I hope you guys enjoy me putting this cute display together. I'm back after reinforcing the moss and it came out really nicely. I don't want to stand it all the way up because it is still drying. Um, they said when the glue turns clear is when it's dry, which is for most projects and most glues anyway. So I know in some places it's still pretty white and I did add some more glue. So it's still drying. So I don't want to stand it all the way up, but it can go like, it can go like all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like it can go on your wall and be straight up. So. Once it dries, it'll be good to go, but I love it. What do you guys think? Isn't this adorable? It was really easy to do and it was really fun to do. So let's get into some remarks. This project is messy. It is a messy project. So you wanna make sure you have protective surfaces and you also wanna make sure you have something to wipe down as you go and clean up as you go. So I like to use just a simple healing mat for a protective surface to work on. And then I like to just have, you know, a dry cloth next to me to just wipe up any bits. This is a messy project. And if you're doing it with children, <laughs> I don't have kids, but I've worked with kids and they can be a lot, so. It is an easy project, super easy to do, and super easy to follow. It does come with instructions, so make sure you follow these instructions when you're doing the project, but it's very clean cut, straight to the point, dry. I loved it. I read it one time and it was good. A lot of times I have to read instructions like 10 times. <laughs> when applying the glue that comes with it, I highly recommend that you apply a generous amount of glue and brush it in and then apply another coat. Like I did two thick coats, I guess, just to make sure that the moss really sticks on there. Another thing I also wanna mention is that all of the moss feels real. It said it's made of natural material. And I'm like, does that mean real moss? Sounds like real moss to me. But anyways, the reason why I say what I say is because some of it is easier to handle than others. Like this one in the corner, I shouldn't have put this in the corner. I feel like it's always going to make a mess somewhere. So this one, I think you should put towards the middle. If you rub on it, it's like soil will fall from it. It's already happening. See, it's, it's already, you see that? It's already happening. So this piece right here, I don't know what it's called, but it should go in the middle. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And the more, you know, webby looking moss should go on the edges, I think. But nonetheless, I still think it came out really good. The price of this, what was the price? I don't think there's anything else since it was such an easy project and it comes with everything you need to do it. This is perfect. So once you finish it, you can hang it up on the wall, you can stand it up on your desk. 
there's a lot of different ways you can display this and you could probably even add your own elements to it if you like. I chose to keep it like this because it's natural looking and it goes with every kind of decor in the house, but I think it came out really good. I think it was so fun and I'm happy that I got exposed to doing something new. I never thought I would be doing something like this. Even if it is an easy beginner project, it was still really fun to do and a new experience for me. So I highly, highly recommend this product. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more future craft videos as well as planner videos. I did just put out a planning video, so check it out. And make sure you subscribe for more content so the notification bell could be on for you. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you enjoy your day and craft on. Bye.